you've chosen your top 15. I've got goosebumps. Look at this. Absolute magic. AGT, Tuesday on NBC. Later, Jimmy Fallon welcomes Ariana DeBose, NBC Tonight. I'm a power blackout, and I'm going to put you in the dark. What is that? It's the Yeti 3000X solar generator, a home backup system from Goal Zero. Take that blackout. Which taco was awarded the best fast food taco in America by Thrillist? Guess again. The best fast food taco is the Del Taco. At 30% bigger and two times cheesier than Taco Bell's Crunchy Taco, it's no wonder the Del Taco was named the best fast food taco. I earned 3% cash back at drugstores with Chase Freedom Unlimited. So I got cars for birthdays, holidays, graduations. I'm covered for everything. Which reminds me, thank you for driving me to the drugstore. Earn big time with Chase Freedom Unlimited with no annual fee. How do you cash back? Chase, make more of what's yours. I'm a power blackout, and I'm going to put you in the dark. What is that? It's the Yeti 3000X solar generator, a home backup system from Goal Zero. Take that blackout. This is NBC4 News at 11. And now at 11, the college sports world rocked by a surprising move. Two of Southern California's biggest rivals teaming up, so to speak, both saying goodbye to the Pac-12 and hello to the Big Ten. The changeover is still a couple of years away, but it is already raising questions about the future of the Pac-12. Good evening, everyone. I'm Colleen Williams. I'm Carolyn Johnson. Chuck Henry is off tonight. Our Fred Rogan is here with more on the fallout from this decision. This was really a surprise for a lot of us. Yeah, you know what? Uh, it was a surprise for most of us, but when you think about how it came down, behind the scenes, it's been going on for some time. Yeah. We just didn't know. So, sure, it was fun while it lasted, huh? Thanks for the memories, Pac-12. USC and UCLA off to start their Big Ten journey in 2024, and it's simple. Just follow the money. Both USC and UCLA could make upwards of $85 million a year as the Big Ten hammers out a new TV deal with Fox. They make roughly $30 million a year now in the Pac-12. And that kind of money will make you do funny things, like play Rutgers during Fox's big noon kickoff. It's going to take some time to get used to. Imagine USC or UCLA playing in Pasadena January 1st in the Rose Bowl as members of the Big Ten. Pretty wild. USC joined the Pac-12 exactly 100 years ago. UCLA followed a few years after. This will all but end the Pac-12. You cannot replace two powerhouse universities in a major market with Fresno State and Wyoming. There's also talk that Oregon and Washington could jump ship. That is, if the Big Ten wants them. And if they did, that would not surprise us one bit. Possibly sooner than later? Well, in 2024, look, as soon as you can get out, if you have the chance to go for more money, you go. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Thank you, Fred. Okay. Well, even if you don't see the moment of the impact here, this security video is hard to watch. A silver SUV hitting a woman as she's crossing the street with her three dogs. And that woman is in critical condition tonight. The search is on for the driver who took off. NBC4's Hetty Chang live in Westminster for us, where she spoke with the boyfriend of that woman, Hetty. Yeah, Carolyn, the woman's boyfriend, too distraught to speak on camera tonight, but we ran into him tonight in the neighborhood. He was actually driving around trying to see if he could spot that silver SUV that hit his girlfriend. He tells us the good news, she is expected to recover, and it was their three dogs that helped police. They were not hurt, but witnessed something traumatic. The family of the 31-year-old woman who was struck yesterday tells us Garo and Labs Saga and Amber waited by her side, then led police to their home just a few blocks away. It was how investigators learned who the victim is. Her boyfriend tells us the woman was on her daily routine, a 6 a.m. walk around the neighborhood before work as a dog trainer. She was crossing the intersection of Klamath Drive and Uruquoy Road. She sees the SUV and tries to outrun it, but the driver runs the stop sign, hits her, and then takes off. But at 6.30 in the morning, I don't understand why anybody would be speeding through. A woman with three dogs? Several neighbors told us they've noticed their streets are much busier lately, now with commuter traffic, as drivers detour away from nearby freeway construction and closures. So people cut through here all the time, and they do, and they don't live here, and they're driving 35, 40 miles an hour. They run that stop sign all the time. I see it every morning. It's unclear whether the driver of what police describe as a newer model silver Ford Explorer with custom rims lives nearby.